I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering. In this episode, we go back to our Microsoft Access playlist and we're going to talk about form referencing and control referencing uh, as these are very, very uh, important when you're starting to learn how to design queries and reports and forms and, and VBA code and all that kind of stuff and how to get values off of a, a form or you know a report or something like that is very very important because you need all of your objects to be able to talk to each other and that's where our expressions and in this particular case uh, form referencing becomes very important so without further ado let's get to our form referencing in microsoft access are you a hotshot programmer looking for your next gig make sure to check out the additional links in the description Okay, so uh, I'm using this uh, file that we used for some of our other demonstrations. And uh, in this file, we had a climate change data table. Um, it has a bunch of data in it uh, from the World Bank. And, uh, and what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use this data to, uh, in a form, uh, actually in a form that we created in a previous episode, and we're gonna look at how to uh, get the value uh, from a drop-down list on, an, on a form somewhere. And this is gonna demonstrate form referencing. And so this is the form here. Uh, it's called Climate Change Form, and we built this. Uh, I will, uh, I'll put the link to this up above if you wanna go check, check it out. Uh, but essentially this you know, created a form uh, on top of these 13,000 records and uh, and what it allowed us to do is uh, we could choose from the country uh, or the series uh, and so in this case I chose Canada and then I wanted to see the serial yield for Canada and so this form um, it it did a, a nice little filter there but what we want to do is we want to show how how to get these values from this form and we're going to use form referencing a control referencing and and an expression uh, which is key to learning how to uh, program in Microsoft Access and the reason is is that these expressions are used all throughout Microsoft Access um, they're used in all of the the almost all of the different kinds of objects and coding and everything. So you can see, I found the names of these. So it's CBO country and CBO series in this form. So if I right click and go back to the, uh, the record view, the form view, I can see that I selected Canada up above and serial yield. And I wanna get those values out um, to do something else. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you um, the most common ways that uh, that this kind of form referencing is done and the reason why you will do it and also I'm going to show you some habits that you might see in other programming um, that uh, that might cause issues and so I'm going to show you the proper way to do it in my opinion and uh, and so we'll get started here so in our first example I'm going to create a query and what I've done is I'm dre I've drag the climate change data table onto my query and I've selected the star and the star um, selects everything from from this table so it's going to get all the fields because I select the star so I'm going to add another field on the end I'm selecting country name again but you'll see that I checked off the show box and that's because I don't want it to show twice I only want it to show once uh, but I'm going to use this as a criteria and so that's why I've checked it, unchecked the uh, show box there. So what I can do is I can start typing in here and you can see when I type and I put the exclamation point in there, I'm getting some values um, that are sort of auto-completing, which is great that I can choose from. And, it, and so uh, the program knows and I put in, I said I want from forms, I want the climate change form and then the country. And that's the value that I'm gonna get out of there. So you can do it that way, or you can go to the build option if you right click. And you can actually do it visually. And this is a nice way to learn about how to use uh, this stuff in Access. So I would encourage you to go and like um, uh, figure out how to use the expression builder 
And the expression builder is really, uh, it's going to help you to see that you can build these expressions that will be very powerful and can get data from all over the place in your program. So I'm going to select my climate change form and I'm going to look for that list, or pardon me, for that combo box. And you can see it's down at the bottom of this middle one here. So if I double click country, you'll see it automatically created that same expression that we typed in. It says, you know, from the forums, go to the climate change form and get the value from the country combo box. And so once I've got that in there, you can see it's using the exclamation point as uh, as the uh, because it's a reference and it's in a it's in an expression what we call it an expression that's why we use the expression builder to do that and if now if I look at my query and I actually execute it you can see that it grabbed that value of for Canada uh, from the drop down and then it used it as the criteria in the query and so. That's similar to how we built the form. Um, you can check out that video, but um, today I wanted to focus just on how to do the form and control referencing. So I could also choose the series code. I think it's the series code. Um, we'll do the same thing. So if we wanted to filter even further, I could put that one in. And you'll note that uh, I have left the, uh, the show checkbox on there, but I'll get back to that. Um, and I can choose it from the list here uh, or you can choose it from loaded forms. Now that's going to change as your forms are open and closed uh, because these expressions will fail if the form is not open because if it's not open then you can't do it. But um, you can see if I choose the combo box for the series there it creates that uh, nice reference for me. So now my query is going to do the country and the series and oh looks like I broke it uh, let's have a look here so let's go back to design oh I must I think it must be the series name okay so so we're gonna leave that one and we're just we're gonna filter on our series name and we'll see uh, that should change it here chose the wrong field there we go oh, there we go okay so so we've got um, cereal yield uh, per hectare and you'll see up here see how this put this um, fully qualified name on there instead of a nice uh, field name. That's because I left that checkbox, that show checkbox um, selected even though I had selected star um, because star gets everything. So that means it got that field twice and so it needed to put a unique name on it. So when I remove that and and uh, you, you can see um, that the series name has the right header on it. So that's how we can use this in a query, uh, but you know we can use this in other ways as well. In fact, we can use it in tons of different ways, and that's the beauty of the the uh, sort of referencing um, the way that referencing works in Microsoft Access. And so if I grab a blank form here, and I just grab a you know a text box, an unbound text box. So this is just I just dropped a text box on the form. And I want to see, uh, I want to get a value from the other form. And as you can see, I can do that in exactly the same way that I did it for the query um, to get that value. And now the query used it used the value as a parameter, so we didn't actually see the value because until we ran the query, of course. Uh, but in this case, we we can actually just get the value. Uh, from the other form if we want and so there you there you go there's Canada and that is what we chose in this uh, in this drop down box here this combo box and so um, it's very very powerful so you can take values from other forms and you can display them or use them in calculations even uh, from on your current form you can add things together or whatever and you can do the same thing for reports um, and uh, what you can do is you can you can um, you can uh, reference um, values from forms, or you can even reference values in other parts of of your report, for example. And um, and so that makes it very very handy. Like if you say you want some some I don't know 
you've got two totals that come from a sum, but you want like a grand total, uh, you could do that in an expression referencing the other two um, uh, uh, text boxes on the, on the report. And so in this case, I'll get that same value. Maybe I'll get the uh, this series this time um, just to demonstrate. And so now I've got a report and you know, I wanted this value on my report that has, you know, it's open on a record set that's completely unrelated. And th there you go, I can open my report and I can see the value that was selected on this other form here that's open somewhere else. And so as you can see, this is very, very powerful uh, functionality that was built into uh, Microsoft Access in the sense that it can get these values from all over the place and you can use them however you like. And the same is true for uh, Visual Basic for Applications which is sort of like the the programming language for Microsoft Office and in particular Access in this case. Um, and so I can put a question mark there and then I can I can use the same expression that I showed you in the in the query and the form and the report and I can just get the value in, in Visual Basic, um, which makes it very, very uh, handy. So, you know, you can do things like do a concatenation. Uh, so you can put a string together. Uh, in this case, I'll put the country and the series together in one string. And uh, that makes it very, very, very easy to get those values. You could have got those values from two different reports or two different forms um, and use them in queries or whatever. Um, and so what we can do is we can also take a look at, um, I'll create a new module here um, through the access interface and um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, uh, I'll call it print stuff <laughs> and we're going to take those same expressions that we use down below uh, with the references in them and we're going to uh, we're going to put those into a subroutine that is going to just load a, a variable and then we'll print it out and so you can see the same thing uh, happening inside of a procedure um, and you'll note that we can use the almost exact same uh, syntax that we used um, it you don't necessarily need to have the square brackets around them unless there's uh, spaces in the name. Um, and so you can see uh, if I run this little procedure that I, that I created there, I was able to get those same values again and use them in Visual Basic. Now if you start working on a lot of access databases, uh, one of the things that you're going to see from other programmers uh, especially programmers that came that didn't start with access that they came from somewhere else you're gonna see the object notation of, of the same thing that we're describing here um, with dots instead of exc exclamation points now now the functionality you'll see if I run this um, I'll just save all the oh wow I say <laughs> created all that stuff I'm just gonna save it all and then if I run this you'll see that it works here and uh, it did dump that, uh, that ex pardon me, the output into the immediate window. I'll run it again um, just so that it's clear. There we go. So it did the same thing. And you can see that it works here. But this is actually, it's not the same thing as referencing. So just be aware of that. And so if you're working on uh, a big bunch of code and you're starting to see some errors, the first thing that you should do is switch those back to references and see if that fixes the problem. And though the dots work here, they do not work in all cases and so you might see errors uh, popping up because people use that notation. And another thing that you'll see will be uh, people that do not use a fully qualified reference. They'll see that they'll just put in CBO country if it's on the same form, for example, and they see that that works. Uh, but the problem is, is that introduce that can introduce errors uh, if you do not use fully qualified references. So make sure you put that whole reference in there, um, just like we have the, with forms, climate change form, CBO country, um, 
and that will definitely help you. Now there's some other ways that you can use the referencing uh, is that you can stop uh, at the form level and you can you can interact with the the properties and methods of uh, of you know the the form that you're looking at or the control even um, so be aware of that too so you can say hey forms uh, climate change form uh, visible and then if I remove that question mark um, and I say hey it's it's actually not visible and I run that well that actually sets the that will set the property and so now you can see the form is open but it's invisible right now and so your form referencing can use all of those things as well um, you know you can you can you know make things disappear and appear and you can change colors and do all kinds of things uh, uh, by using the the referenced form and then and then uh, adjusting the properties now one thing that you can do is you know you can you can set the actual control equal to false too so I just did that there so I, I used the fully you know the full uh, reference to the control and then I just set the I set the you know control equal to false uh, visible equal to false and that will make it disappear and uh, that is very very handy so so uh, the expressions along with the referencing allow you to go in and do all kinds of really cool stuff with your program now I don't have a subform in this uh, in this particular case here but if you had a control that was on a subform um, this is the way that you can reference it so you would say hey uh, oh hang on we got to put a a subform on there so we'll go back uh, we're going to have an imaginary subform here but you would go forms and then my you know climate change form and then some subform and then dot form and then use the reference uh, for the control that you want on the subform just in case some of you are using a subform and you're wondering how can I you know get that value as well and there is an alternate notation that you can use uh, to reference uh, in some cases uh, you will want to use uh, you know the brackets and then specify the name of the control that you want and that's usually used uh, in VBA coding and that's how you do form referencing in Microsoft Access. Want to join a cool community centered around these topics? Make sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching.